Hello. Um, today I want to have a conversation about worth. Um, uh, we have a situation where Dangote's worth has declined so drastically that he's now the second richest man in Africa after the man from South Africa. Now, it's important for us in communication to understand the implication of the idea of worth. What is something worth? Is it the real value of a thing or the current value being placed on a thing? So when we say Dangote is worth billions of dollars or Bill Gates is worth, is worth billions of dollars, what are we really saying? Are we saying Dangote has got so, so, so billions of dollars in the bank? Not really. We're saying that for everything he has, it's what people are willing to pay for the things he has that makes it his worth. Why is this very important for us in communication? This concept, it's been tugging at my heart for a very long time that it means that for us in communication, there is a lot we need to do to make our organization work. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. If our organization has to be worth anything, then it's what we do that increases our worth. I searched the internet uh, for my name and how much I was worth, and I realized that there is a website. I think I should I should conduct that search again. Um, it's search around Odo Diego Okenyodo uh, worth. You know, um, think yes. So it says, yeah. So th there's a right here. Diego. Uh huh. So yeah, let me see if I can even share this screen for for you to see. Um, sharing, um, yep, 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 yep. Okay, it says I can share a particular tab. Yes, yes, I can share my worth in 2023. Yeah, so this is the worth in 2023 and it says that i'm a famous journalist <laughs> i don't know how that works and that i was born on the 2nd of december 1974 and as of june 1 2023 diego okenyado's net worth is five million naira in september 1990 no five million dollars in september 1999 the weekly trust engaged him as a freelance correspondent which marked the formal beginning of a long incubating career in journalism. Earlier at the Amadibele University, Zaria Okenyodo contributed to and edited some campus magazines. All right, so it says I'm worth $5 million. Now, it's uh, interesting to, to see that, to hear that I am worth $5 million. But that's the interesting part of the conversation we're about to have. Why is worth such an important thing to, 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 to think about in uh, development communication? And I you know, said there are quite a number of reasons that we should um, consider what's our worth, what, why the concept of worth is, is is of importance um i'm going to talk from my experience you know uh, some of the reasons why i think this concept is very important and if you have
my losing connection. Please don't lose connection. I am very glad to continue this conversation. You know, please don't lose the connection. Okay. So the sense, the idea of worth is that what I say about what I'm doing and what people perceive about what I'm doing that really matters. This is not about having to lie. This is more about that you can't light a candle and put it under, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, and, and cover it if you Worth is about perception. Worth is about value. Uh, I talked about this in another video where I said the, the most important phones, the most important cars, the most Sorry, the internet connectivity um, was a bit poor and I, I lost contact with you there. So the concept of what is a big concept because for us in um, communication, we say it is what you say about what you do that matters, not just what you do. What you do is important, but what you say, what you, uh, the, the, the impression impression you create if you think this event you are having is not an important event and you don't tell us the story of the event then we wouldn't think it's important we we will only consider it an important event when you tell us about it. And that itself, because and, and so understanding that is, is, is an important reason why what is uh, is something impressive. I also think that as comes people, if we do not place value on the, the, the thing we deliver, 
as comms people, then we won't be seen to be doing something because our service is intangible. Our service is not often something that anybody can feel and touch, maybe say compared to what an engineer does, you know, who uh, constructs a building. These people, that is us, something that is not very tangible in terms of physical form. We are the same people whose services cost a lot, you know, for obvious reasons, comes is very expensive. And because it's an expensive venture, we need to show that it means something. We need to, we need to sh always show the worth, the value we're bringing in, 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 through the things we do. And if we do not show it, then nobody will know it. It's our assignment, therefore, to show that what we're doing is worthy of the kind of resources, money, time, energy being put into delivering them. We, we cannot be there for just doing things and just covering them. So what is important for perception creation, you know, it is important um, also, in terms of our influence, you know, when communicating, you know, we need to highlight the worth of our ideas and our proposals and the things we are offering. What is also important for the concept of brand management, you know, if there's a brand, uh, again, a brand is intangible. Why would someone want to associate with a certain brand and not with another brand. It's about the concept of worth. I hear that a brand like UNICEF associates with it itself with certain football clubs because they feel they are worth, um, you know, improving or adding value to what UNICEF does. And it even seems like some of the companies actually pay um, an organization like UNICEF for even having its logo on, on, on it. So this is important because that's because people feel that UNICEF is worth associating with. That's the issue of brand management. And of course, then it comes to the second part, which is reputation management. So what have you known for? What have, what's your reputation? What have you been reputed for doing? You know, um, it's crucial in managing the reputation of individuals. You know, if you think of Dangote and the stories around Dangote, you perceive him as um, a very comfortable man, a very relaxed man, a very, you know, you don't think of Dangote as struggling, you know, and which brings me to the fifth point, which is that of uh, granting you a competitive advantage. Because the idea of worth then says that when you get into, like if, you, if an American or a European comes to developing countries, there's a tendency that because people have a light skin and they were the colonial masters or they are descendants of the colonial masters, that the white skin is worth something better than the black skin. And for that reason, they always get the competitive advantage. And it's the worth we put, the worth, we, the worth of the black skin that's at stake. And until we try to show that the black skin is either not any different from the white, or if you really put them on a scale, how they can withstand the sun and other vagaries of um, uh, of the elements, we can also say that the black skin is worth something more because it's tougher. It's what, but anyway, that's a story for another day. 
Uh, so essentially, the idea that something is worth something is not so much because that is what it is. I, I tell people a story about 2000, how in 2008 I went to South Africa. And before I left here, I, I took a lot of money in, in Naira because it was a sudden trip and I wanted to uh, just have some backup resources before the company I was traveling on behalf of would send my daily subsistence allowance. So I took 200,000 Naira from here, which was, you know, significantly it was worth something important. I could actually live for survive for two weeks on uh, 200,000 Naira, you know, and I was comfortable. I was worth something big here in Nigeria. Then something happened. I arrived in South Africa, you know, and before I could say anything, nobody knew the Naira. The Naira was worth nothing. And uh, this was not a time where the smartphones were really smart because there wasn't really 4G or 3G or whatever. We could barely, there wasn't really, if Twitter was in the vogue, there weren't many ways to connect as we have now. And I saw homelessness facing me right there at the, uh, the airport. I had no way of getting to the city and I had no way to pay for my hotel accommodation. Even though I had reserved the hotel with my credit card, uh, which was a debit card really, and it was empty, but just because you had a, a, a valid card, it, it, it accepted my booking. So I had no, no resources. I had Naira on me, but the Bureau de Change could not change Naira because they said they didn't know Naira. No people really weren't using the Naira at that moment. So from six hours before where I was worth 200,000 Naira, and at that time that was at least a thousand dollars, I was worth nothing within six hours. So the idea of worth is the value we're placing on this paper we called Naira at that moment, which we called money, and everybody thought it was important, but it was worth nothing. So how much, what is your NGO worth? What is your organization, the organization you represent? What is it worth? Are people going to be able to bet on it? Are people, are, are banks going to be able to grant you a loan to construct your permanent site if you didn't have uh, money up front? Would people want to work with you because of what you you're worth, because of your reputation? Would people want to stake their own brand against your brand? Would, would they, if push comes to shove, are they willing to say, hey, my brand should stay, stand beside this brand because its, it's reputation is worth something big? This is very important. And this is this has implication for branding in communication. It has implication for corporate communication. It has implications for project visibility, for brand visibility, for uh, personal branding of the individuals in our organizations. So the concept of worth is therefore very important for these many reasons. So I have said is because of the idea of perception creation, the influence and persuasion, how much influence you have. Thirdly, I talked about brand management, uh, reputation management, and then the idea of differentiation and competitive advantage. These are the five reasons that I think you should think very well about the concept of what. What are you worth? What is your organization worth? And for those who have taken time to listen to the Okenyedo 
DevCom chat. This is what we are doing a lot more nowadays. I'll be using my years of experience in development communication, PR, brand management, project management to lead conversations. I mean, this is a, a field where there are so many experts and um, I would love to just be the hub. So if there are questions, please put them in the chat. Uh, I'll respond to them uh, if I can. If I can't, I'm going to get a mercenary, you know, someone who knows it more than I do to answer them. But like I said, I'm your development communicator, Okenyodo DevCom chat, the Okenyodo DevCom chat. We're going to continue having this and I will be doing this a lot more. If there are questions, please join my Telegram channel. It's t.me forward slash the Okenyodo. Uh, you can join us there and we can have conversations. I will be on Facebook at least, I mean, um, on um, YouTube at least once a week. And um, if you if you feel like joining me, please do join me. I'll be using StreamYard. It uh, looks like it's doing good. So I'll be using StreamYard and you can also join me on StreamYard if you want to join me in conversations. Please just put that in the comment section and then we can continue having conversations. Thank you so much for being with me for this long and I do hope you enjoy your day.